Good afternoon everybody, um, I'm Kim and I just want to share this um, verse with you. Um, it's Song of Solomon and it says, take care of the little foxes. So take care of the foxes, the little foxes that uh, destroy the vi vineyard, our vineyard that's in bloom. That's the gist of it anyway, it's different in different verses. It's, that's a Song of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15. And it's been up for me this week because, which is, I'm really recording this because it's kind of like when God gives you a lesson and I have, I do pray to him that your rod and your staff do comfort me. And so when you do pray those things and you ask Lord, the Lord to keep you on the straight and narrow, that's exactly what he does. And so I started to slip this week a little bit because um, there's been a lot of stuff going on in the natural um, and God gives you grace for that, no doubt about it. That's not what this is about. I have sinned this week. Um, I had death in the family. My cousin died on Tuesday and I went to see him in the hospital and I felt a mixture of different things, including grief and you know, I was with him as he was dying and um, a lot of changes. My sister's moving back from France. I'm moving out, going through a breakup um, wondering where to go in life, not really feeling like I've got a home at the moment. The Lord's also been speaking to me about sparrows, <laughs> sparrows not having a home and the Lord not having a home to rest, but also I think there's another verse um, in, I'm not sure if it's Zachariah or Messiah, but there's another verse about sparrows, about um, the, having, the sparrow having a place to nest with a young and that's kind of a situation I'm in because I'm looking for a place to nest with my young son. So God's really good. I mean, like a sparrow was walking in front of my feet yesterday. It was like it was a lovely thing. Anyway, I digress. I was slipping. Just a little thing like the little foxes. I noticed that I was occasionally swearing this week and I, my I had like a stirring in my chest, different emotions. Um, please excuse the wind. And I noticed I had um, just little things going on. I was, um, I stole, I printed off, basically I used the works printer to print off some tickets for a festival, which you probably not think is stealing, but God sees everything. And even if it's only worth the price of a piece of paper it's God sees everything and I stole and I got angry at one point and I um, got upset with my sister this weekend and I noticed that my I was speaking my, my tongue became more profane and on my heart I felt like a little kind of like a strange feeling like the Lord wasn't with me and I couldn't feel connected to the Holy Spirit and I lost the differentiation between like that discerning line between when you like unclean in yourself and you're living in sin and, and or righteousness and so I then on it just kind of very very quickly spiraled because of all these things going on and the distractions and the, there was also a wedding as well as a funeral and I ended up drinking and I drank half a lager or whatever at the wedding and a few sips of wine. Um, but then on Sunday night, I ended up drinking and getting nearly drunk on rosé wine. Um, and I repented. Oh, and a lot of, not long after that, I ended up getting really, really upset about something and realizing I still had some emotional stuff from the past to deal with. And God's brought all this to my attention. And, you know, at the time I was confused when I actually I ended up getting really upset and getting upset with my sister over it being not really a bit non-committal about coming to this festival and really almost being emotionally manip manipulative really because I was crying and wanting sort of to come and get my own way and and just all ungodly stuff basically and oh God's so good because despite all of this I repented for everything that I did and I felt his grace upon me 
and I prayed for him to reveal to me what has been happening and lo and behold that's what he revealed about the little foxes that have been coming to destroy the vine and also the festivals that I want my sisters to come to is a Christian festival and he also revealed to me that there's stuff going on in the spirit there and with her which is another story in itself and basically there's somebody who doesn't want my sisters to come to a Christian festival and to meet other Christians I <laughs> wonder who that could be eh? but the Holy Spirit's revealed to me God is good you know and I just wanted to share that about that verse and just to share that so to remind myself as what's as what's happened this week but also just to remind people to take care of those little foxes that come to spell the vineyard just as I'm stepping out for God and changing my life for God and wanting to really do things for him in come the little foxes and it's by your own sin but God's faithful to forgive if you confess the sins. If you don't, if you don't repent, then they can very quickly build up and spiral out of control, and you'll find yourself in unrighteousness before you know it. But if you are repentant and you really do push through and seek, and you've got to be as quick as you possibly can to repent your sins, because you can find yourself feeling like you're on the moon, like as far away from Jesus as, as possible and almost feeling like you don't care, you don't want to repent, and all those unrighteous feelings of rebellion and anger very quickly come in. Um, come in snowball, like a snowball, a 